everyone, Claudia over here with Hollywood First Look Features and I'm in Los Angeles at the premiere of Why Not Choose Love, a Mary Pickford Manifesto. Let's take a first look. To United Eyes. <laughs> United Eyes. Cheers. Cheers. When I was a boy, I imagined I invented a magical box. And in that box, I could store the precious moments of my life, keep them with me. And later on, in dark hours, I imagined I could open that box and receive, at least for a little while, a breath of memory to let those moments live again. And that is why I make movies. Gratitude to you, Mary, for bringing me along on your next adventure with you and our fellow United Artists. You're still the best damn actress there is. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Tell us what it was about Mary Pickford that made you decide you want to pursue this film. Uh, it was a happy accident. I discovered her story in an art exhibit that I was only in because I had five minutes to kill in a building I had a meeting in and I did not know who she was. And it wasn't one thing specifically. It was just a, a really visceral response to this exhibit and feeling like I never had a role model, I never had a mentor as a storyteller coming up. And when I saw what she had gone through, even within five minutes, I just knew that she was a kindred spirit and people needed to know that there was a mother under behind Hollywood, you know? I play Elsie Janice in the movie. And I mean, she has a star on the Walk of Fame, so no pressure. Uh, uh, when I researched her, she's, she was she was a wonderful. I mean, even before Mary Pickford came along, she was she was on the stage when she was two years old. So that's quite quite something. Uh, and when she was eleven, uh, obviously became even more famous. Um, and it was such a a great era um, that we you know when we were filming, it just felt so beautiful and very innocent. Tell us a little bit about what it was like working with this particular cast and crew. Oh well. The, well, the, the cast and crew, they are all fantastic, but I produced it with Jennifer Delia, who's the director and producer, and Julie Pacino, and they had started to work on this project before I came in, and then they asked me to join, which was a blessing because the adventure was wild and beautiful and magical, and the, we got a fabulous cast, of course, and we also had a crew that is a level. Uh, I play Beth Fairbanks, Douglas Fairbanks' wife in the film and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. She's a sweet, loving woman who deserves a little better, I think. Don't we all? <laughs> right, yeah. What was it like playing this character? And it sounds like you had big shoes to fill as well. Yeah, you know, Owen was um, a very complicated character and when he met Mary um, she was really taken off and his career had plateaued as a silent movie star and then she was making the transition into the talkies and uh, and that didn't really go down well with him. Um, they got married behind their, her mother's back um, and then he was abusive and so it was a very dark character to play which is, you know, as an actor it's a very interesting thing to do, to lean into it and kind of really, you know, take the bull by the horns or whatever. Um, but, you know, there were, there were a couple of scenes that were difficult enough to shoot and but uh, Sophie's a legend to work with. Are you excited? Um, I'm many different things right now I couldn't really just put it down to one word to be honest. Playing a pretty iconic role what was it like playing this role and how was it working with this cast and crew? I mean the cast and crew were phenomenal I always feel so lucky to be around creatives that I'm impressed with yeah. you know and um, I feel like it, it betters your performance in so many different ways. I Playing someone like Mary Pickford it comes with a huge responsibility. However, I felt to be semi-decent as an actress, I had to connect to a, like a human quality of hers that I could understand and forget all of the stuff around her because she was incredibly famous and her life was riddled with tragedy as well. But the great work that she did and her prowess and her passion was something that I, I have taken on since playing her. Um, so I, I I felt very lucky to be surrounded by brilliant people to play quite a, 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 an iconic role. Very iconic. Thanks for watching guys and for Hollywood First Look Features, I'm Kaudi Takei. See you later.